handball courts are the only playground that offers a giant free standing wall that can potentially be painted. When you paint, there's the things you know that will happen, that you earn, and then there's all the things that you don't know that will happen, but that will happen no matter what. I think painting is very interesting when you forget that you are actually painting, when you lose yourself in the activity of it. Harold Ankart is a Belgian painter who's been living here in Brooklyn for over a decade, and he's been creating incredibly compelling paintings that typically have been confined to museums and galleries. Subliminal Standard is a newly built painted concrete sculpture in Cadman Plaza Park. It's inspired by the built environment of the city and the way these walls become in dialogue with the canon of abstract paintings. I've been mostly painting things that people tend to naturally contemplate, such as clouds, flowers, flames. But lately I started looking at things that actually do not stand out at all. And from there I started paying closer attention to handball courts that are all over the city. I think there's more than 2,000 in New York. They are so ever-present that no one really notice them and they sort of exist as ghosts in the city. When you look at handball courts, the way they wear out, it's very interesting. People do graffiti on them, so they're being repainted. And when this process is repeated over the years, it creates interesting paintings that I think carry a relationship with the history of abstract painting in general. So I wanted to make a painting that would be a tribute to that, but in a more colorful, joyful way. Over the course of a month, we worked with a construction team to build this concrete structure. Then Harold and his team came and they painted the whole thing. I wanted some of the colors to stand out, but I didn't want it everything to stand out. I wanted it to keep its sort of ghostly presence, but I wanted to tune the color to offer a more poetic version of the everyday reality. Public Art Fund has commissioned art in Cadman Plaza Park in the past, most famously David Hammond's Higher Goals in 1986. And to have Harold's project be in dialogue with a historic public art fund project that was about art and sport and finding beauty in the world around you was quite powerful and significant. There's a thing that's like really interesting in putting massive sculptures in a public space is that, oh, how is it going to blend? How is it going to work? How are people going to react? Subliminal Standard is an invitation. It's an invitation for people to come here to the park, to play on it, to interact with it in any way they see fit. What is great about public sculpture is that it is a democratic monument because if you want to see painting, you can, but if you don't want to see any of that and just play on it, you can too. I like that it is open to many interpretations and it can be used in all possible ways.